Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. Just bringing you all up on screen. All right, can anyone see what I did with my coffee? Oh, found it. All right, comments on morning, Colleen. How are you? All right, sorry, guys. I'm just making sure that my camera's in the right spot. Everything is fine and peachy. Hey, Tina, Mandy, Elizabeth, good morning, girls. I'm not going to do a roll call. Nobody needs to sit through that this morning. Um, all right. Are we all good? Are we all happy? Are we all healthy? That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Inspiration guru. Oh, calm down, woman. How funny. All right, so this morning I am going to do some easy card fronts using the Dina Wakely gloss sprays. So as part, ha, no, is a new coffee, Colleen. As part of the Great Australian Craft Show, um, today is day two and today I have got a new daily special. So today's newly special is 15% off Dina Wakely gloss sprays and I'm going to show you um, this morning how to make some quick and easy card fronts and this afternoon I'm going to do an art journal page so um, that'll be fun um, sorry hang on just needed to get a pin um, okay so today I, I'm, I it's been a while since I've played with these um, in, I'm not going to waffle on about how awesome they are and how fabulous they are because I've, I've used them a handful of times. Um, I haven't given myself enough time lately to create, but I thought I would have a bit of a play today, put it all out there, show you exactly how easy they are to use and how you can get a really, really awesome effect and why they are different from a lot of the other products. So... Um, we are going to get a little bit of camera feedback on this one today, but that's because I need my glass mat as well as needing a, uh, like I need a, a slick surface to work on. So, um, all right, so I'm just going to crack straight into it. So the Dina Wakely gloss sprays are an acrylic paint in a spray and they dry glossy. So they're really, really cool. There are so many colors. I have got all of them don't judge me um, so before using them you give them a good shake they go on just about any surface so here in front of me I've just got the plain plain card stock that I use to make cards out of same one as I used yesterday and I I'm just gonna turn that light down a bit there we go not so glary um, and I have cut them down to six by fours so what I want to do is have a bit of a play with the colours. So um, there's lots and lots and lots of different techniques that you can do. So rather than using, to start off with, um, rather than using my glass mat to catch my overflow, I'm actually going to put down a piece of tissue paper, collage paper, to catch the overflow so that it, it goes onto this and it starts dyeing it. So the cool thing about these is... It's same as all sprays, you just got to get it on there. And I love that the colours are so very vibrant. They're just beautiful and vibrant. And what I love is that they dry glossy. And they don't take long to dry either. So what it also means is the colours that you use, you can layer the colours up on top of each other. So this is one of the new colours, Carnation. Um, brand new one and I'm going to show you bring it up to camera it gives this beautiful speckled effect so really really simple and easy to use so this color is apricot so I'm just going to create and create and create here I'm not going to I've got no 
plan in store. I have pre-cut some little stamped images here as well, um, but I'm just going to spray, then pop it aside to dry. Um, I love that it's catching on this because then I can, oh, and I've got massive over, over spray here, um, but then I can use this in a moment as well. So let's jump into the greens. So this is the lime. So normally these are $10.50 each, but 15% off means that you get them at a, a bargain price and you have the opportunity to try a new product that's quite inexpensive. So these will work beautifully in your art journal. Oh, that blue is nice. Um, beautiful in your art journal, journal, gorgeous for card fronts. Um, scrapbook layouts, creating nice painted backgrounds. Um, I should have shaken these all before using them, but I didn't. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm just going to let that sit and dry. So you can see what's happening. It's bringing, it's pooling. It's kind of separating as the colours lay on top of each other. Um, and now I'm going to do a couple with the new, the new colours. So I've got Heather which is this gorgeous pale lilac. Haven't used this one yet. So you've got to give them a good shake before you use them. It's got a ball in it to move the paint around. And that colour is lovely. All right. What colour can I put with that? Because it's wet, I'm not going to put green with it because it's going to go absolutely revolting. Mineral. Mineral is kind of like a, a blue-grey, I guess. So to start off with, we are just creating lovely backgrounds. I'm going to bring that up to camera. So pretty. And now I'm running out of drying space already. It's still making a nice little mess here. Um, let's have a go with aloe. So aloe is that really lovely light aloe vera colour. And as you can see, I'm making sure that my lids are on and they're going back on after. Um, they're notorious for leaking, apparently, um, when you shake them. So I thought that I will, because I'm super lazy putting um, lids back on things. I usually just throw the lids in the bin, but not this time. So this colour is sand, so it's quite a neutral tone. And I'm actually just going to let these dry and add a few colours over the top in a moment. So that's really pretty as well. So just whipping through, creating some backgrounds. Let's go with some bolder colours here. I've done some pastels. Uh, eggplant. Eggplant, let's see what you've got. Oh, look at that. Okay, eggplant's beautiful. And then let's go with night, which is my favourite one. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, oh gorgeous. So this time I haven't completely covered it because I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds to dry and then I'm going to pop a brighter colour over the top. So popping that one aside. And my tissue paper is looking beautiful. So I'm going to mop up my mess here. Oh, I've got a cocktail party to go to tonight too. That's going to be fun. I forgot about that. So if you are watching mum, happy 70th birthday. Um, and I look forward to catching up this evening. Um, paper towel, a uh, paper towel. Collage paper looks pretty great. I'm going to let that sit and dry. Hang that over something. And now I've got a bit of a hot mess here. So I'm just going to soak up that for there we go all right so let's go for cheddar so cheddar is a beautiful orange tone and I'm going to put down some more tissue paper to catch my excess 
So the um, same one as I used in the class yesterday, which is the Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz type set one there. And I'm going to go Medieval. So I was going to go Cheddar, but I'll go Medieval. So Medieval is the... It's got a shimmer to it. So let's have a look at this. Haven't had a play with this one yet. No. Oh, that's divine. Oh, it's got a lovely tinge to it. All right. And I'm going to pop marine with it. So how's everybody's morning going? It is a perla of a day here in Radelaide. Sunny 26 degrees. Um, I got up at 5.30 this morning to put a few things on the website ready for the day. And then um, the plan was to go to the gym. Didn't happen. Didn't make it to the gym this morning. Um, decided it was too bloody hard. And I had to pack some orders from yesterday, so. Um, all right, so I'm just taking off that little bit of excess because the next colour I want to put down, let's have another go with this cheddar. Beautiful. So making card fronts is great because I don't have a plan in mind. I don't have an idea on what I want to be doing with them. All I know is I'm just going to make some really lovely, pretty, pretty backgrounds. Card fronts, to me, is the perfect opportunity to use up creative experiments to have a bit of a play and then put it aside and come back to it later. Um, I can then embellish however I like after that. Um, I'm going to, I've got gilt. So gilt is the metallic gold. Oh, lovely. What can I, oh. I need to stop. Okay, what can I mix with guilt? Guilt, 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 and... Not my favourite, but we'll go with lime. And now I'm just going to let that sit. Oh, that's kind of pretty. So you can see how it's got that beautiful pooling effect that it does on the top. Um, right. Stuff everywhere here. Oh, let's hit the floor. All right, what else can we do? Sop that up. Let's do another pink one. So I'm going to go with... Magenta, give them a good shake. And I'm going to do the whole card in magenta and then I'm going to stencil over the top in a moment. So I'm just going to let that sit and dry. If I can get it off of there. And if I could turn the camera around, I would show you that there is just stuff from ear to ear on my workspace. For those of you who tuned in last night to the little live Facebook, I gave you a little tour, showed you some um, bits and pieces around the studio. Jessica and I kind of had a bit of a, a little bit of a fun evening, um, but very, very human people. <laughs> and I love the um, idea of showing you how, how normal my workspace is and the hot mess that I have got here as well. So um, all right. I probably won't do another live today because I've got, like I said, I've got um, mum's birthday tonight, which is good. I'm just going to sop up the edge of that. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with any of these backgrounds. I do have some stencils and some stamps pre-cut and some embellishments, but... Oh, so sopping that up has made a really lovely pastel colour, so... bit of a hot mess. Is this freaking people out with getting it all over your hands? I know I have a couple of um, lovely regulars who cannot cope with having things on their hands. So um, I am not one of those people. Hands are meant, you know, it makes it look like I've done something today if it's on my hands. So um, 
Mandy's. Oh, Mandy, thank you for the feedback on my website. Um, I, uh, Mandy's just commented saying that my website, uh, nataliemay.com.au, is very easy to navigate and find a way around. Um, I'm actually having a professional, a grown-up, look at my um my workspace at the moment, sorry, my workspace, my website at the moment and look at ways that we can improve. So um, I figured it's about time I had someone have a look and uh, give, this, give me their opinion on how I can make it better and easier for you guys. So most of you know that this year for me and like everybody else, um, didn't go to plan. I was planning on going around Australia and New Zealand, taking my little shop on um, online, as well as taking it out on the road. And the plan was to come to you guys. Um, and of course, with the apocalypse doing its thing, um, I decided we decided to um, build the website and go from there. So everything on my website and everything I have done, I have pretty much just taught myself. So. Um, all right, so you can see that I am adding everything here to my glass mat. So I've just added three colours. What I want to do now is I'm going to... I've got some Dina Wakeley collage... Oh, sorry, the, yeah, the collage tissue paper. But I don't know if you can see on camera. Oh, yeah, you can. The white faces are there. So um, how do you... What do you do with them? I'm just going to stick my paper straight down on top of it. Pick up that colour and see what happens. So um, for those of you just tuning in, I am winging it here. I have got no plan other than to make some interesting little card fronts and play with some tissue paper and some stencils and some bits and pieces. So um, it's been a long time since I've played with my Dina Wakeley sprays. And... I don't use them as much as I could. So therefore, I am winging it. So I'm just gonna pop that aside to dry somewhere else. Um, baby wipe that down, let's just clean that up. So it is acrylic paint. So that means you do have to clean up as you go. Overspray with this um, can be pretty full on. I will clean my workspace totally with uh, hand sanitizer and get all of that excess paint off at the end of the demo um what else are we gonna do drink my coffee okay so now I'm going to just put down a little paper towel because I see a bit of a mess coming on so now I want to take my background, so they've all dried up a treat here. Oh God, look at that. They've dried up a treat and I'm gonna add some stenciling to a couple of them. So I've got one of the Stencil Girl stencils. This is one of the bouquets. And what I wanna do with this is I want to stencil over the top. What color? So the cool thing about the sprays is that the colors are going to layer on top of each other nicely. Um, I'm going to get. I'm going to go for something that's quite nice and visually pleasing. I'm going to go with marine over the top of this. Shake, shake, shake with the lid on. Now I know I've got some corners exposed here, so before I do anything else, I need to cover up those corners because I don't want my overspray. So I could use some washi tape but let's be honest I can't find the washi tape on my desk so I'm going to mask off with paper towel on those exposed corners like that and I'm just going to stick a couple of other sprays there just to um, weight it down <coughs> oh excuse me yeah, weight it down so that I don't um, that, that doesn't lift when I when I add the movement of the spray. All right, so marine, shake, shake, shake. Now I'm just going to move it. Is 
left and there's my stenciled image. So I've got this on here that I want to use as well. So I'm just going to grab there and I can now stamp with it. So Dina Wakeley actually offers a great range of online classes as well. I had so I've signed up to do the sprays class, learning all the different ways to use the sprays. I know lots of people have done it. Holy heck, look at that. <gasps> um, gorgeous. Okay, but yes, I haven't had the chance to do it yet. So everything that I'm doing here at the moment, totally winging it. Um, but yes, yeah, she does offer some fantastic, inexpensive classes. Um, all right, so let's have another go here. Let's add over the top of this a lighter colour. So I have got here lemon and white. The white I haven't even opened yet. So actually, I'm not going to open the white at the moment. Shake, shake, shake. So rather than spraying, I'm going to splatter. So taking my nozzle, holding onto the bottle, taking the nozzle off, and I can get these gorgeous splats on top. So now for those of you who love that galaxy sort of look, this is right up your alley. This is going to dry really nicely. Um, Let's bring that up to camera for you. That's an awesome speckle. So that would look amazing in the white as well. Um, leave it alone, Natalie. Don't touch it, let it dry. All right, so let's pop some masking over this one. So this time I have got, for those of you who have bought, purchased my branching out stencil, I'm going to use the masks, the masks that come with it. If I can find them all, sorry, there we go. So when you buy my masking out stencil, which is a whole $10, um, come, mine's filthy dirty, as you can see, um, well used, we'll call it. Um, it also comes in the back of the packet with these guys. So I'm just going to layer them like one two three four so using them like that uh what color what color let's think about it let's go with so indecisive today i love the look of something dark over it so let's go with that oh i'm changing my mind again now stuff it, okay. And just, that's all I'm gonna do. So, rather than taking, wiping these off with a baby wipe, putting them straight onto the top here. Whoops, smudge that one. Oh, and that's got a gorgeous little speckle to it. And for pressure, I'm just rolling my paper towel over it so that I don't mess it up. Yes. 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 Love that. All right. Pop that aside. This one here, I probably could have given it a little bit more love, actually. Um, a little bit more paint. But I'm going to put it aside to dry just the same. Okay, stencil, more stencil. So what have I got next? I've got the building up, building stencil from Stencil Girl. Um, use the heck out of this baby, as you know. So I'm going to now add... Oh, what, what, what is the worst colour to put over yellow? Purple. Oh, and that's leaking up my arm. Excellent. I'm really going to have to wash my hands before we go out tonight. Oh, there we go. 
and I'm gonna stamp with that now. So this one over the top, I'm just gonna go like that. And that color's sitting beautifully. So acrylic paint's got that ability to be able to do so many things. Um, and to be perfectly honest, like, come on, I've been sitting here doing this for half an hour and I could just sit here and do it all day. Um, all right, so colour on colour on colour. Let's add pink. Let's add magenta to this one. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. It looks almost fluorescent, actually. Let's turn the light up a little bit and you'll be able to see. Whoops, that's the up button. Yeah, that's better. Um, and then I'm going to give it some yellow just because I can. But I'll do some yellow. I'm loving the arty fingers. Morning, Sandy. Yes, I was just saying that I have a um, my mum's 70th birthday this evening. And that is a cocktail party. And I'm going to be so pretty. Okay, so this is this gorgeous heather and mineral. So um, this time I'm going to, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to add, I might just add another colour over the top here because I think that I really like the way that the colours layer. And I'm not going smack bang in the middle and I'm just going to add a little flick. I don't want too much of this colour. This is beautiful. This is so pretty actually. I didn't expect it to look that good. Surprise myself every now and again. And it doesn't take long to dry so... Um. <laughs> Good morning, Frank. How are you? Um, all right. And then this one here, I want to do something a little bit more masculine because I have a bit of a manly card. So I'm going to add some cheddar over the top. Some cheddar in what? There we go. Here's an idea. And then I'll stamp on there too. Got a little bit of an image there. So keeping in mind, I'm creating backgrounds. I am not creating the main focal images for my cards, okay? I'm not not totally, um, I'm not totally concerned about, oh shit, I shook it again without the lid on. Um, I'm not totally concerned about how it is looking at the moment because it's about building that background up. Radio. Okay, so there was a couple more that I did, but I'm just going to leave those like that because they have dried up looking pretty great. Um, with the exception of this one where I'm just going to add some splatters of gilt, which is that gold. So if you're doing masculine cards, some of these darker colours are going to be absolutely amazing to add to your collection of paints. Um, and I think that they are fabulous for that. Uh, so my next step is I've got here also... Oh no, I've still got that off camera. Let me take you back to how that tissue paper has dried up. That's looking pretty nice. And the other one is uh, still wet, but, and stuck to something. Not too bad, but I'm just gonna make one more. And I'm going to make one more in greens. Shake, shake. So this is just, again, some of the Tim Holtz um, collage paper that are, is available online. Uh, the collage paper is $12 for a roll that is ridiculously long. Um, you will use it. Oh, Olive, I forgot about that. 
um, you will use it again and again and again and it let's just roll that up then the color gets all oh shit oh okay that backfired let's do it again gross fingers <laughs> um, all right let's go again the, um, yeah, the collage paper it goes in your art journals beautifully. It goes in your backgrounds. It helps build your backgrounds and it creates excellent elements for your pages. So um, the idea of your... Oh, that's better. That's what I was looking for. The idea of your collage paper is to create beauty and build the, build the balance, build the elements in the background. All right, so let's turn these guys into cards now. Before I do that, I just need to put all of this aside because I cannot get to my desk, I cannot see anything, and um, that's disgusting. So just chat amongst yourselves for a second, guys, while I sort this out. So acrylic paint. I've just wiped my hands with a baby wipe and it is not budging. How will I clean it? I will go and use my scrubby tool. So my scrubby is a, uh, it's the ranger tool that gets everything off your hands. So the ranger tool that, uh, you'll find them under tools in my, on my online store, but the tools will, the scrubby tool will get just about everything off your hands so all right I'm just dumping those into there for the time being because I need a clean spot alrighty so while I have been doing all of this everything has been drying up really quite nicely um, flip 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 I forgot to coat that one, but that's okay. Um, so let's have a look at, yes, I've got those. Thanks, Beck. I'll put those up over there so I don't forget. Um, look, I've got one left here in front of me because I forgot to do this one. I'll just add a little, a little bit of pink to it. Beautiful, all right, pop that aside. Um, so the ones that I have got here in front of me, let's have a look at them now that they've all dried up. We've got this one here, which has got the splats of yellow on the top. Um, we have got the stencil of the bouquet, which I should have pressed down more because it has lifted a little bit. But you know what? Let's go with it. Um, this one here, so I've made a cool little background. So I'm making card fronts so I'm not making finished works of art just yet I have made so when I did that bouquet that is the negative of the stencil that looks pretty great this one here is what I wiped up my desk with and I'm thinking it's my favorite so far because that's always the way uh, the purple and turquoise one is looking pretty great. So the other thing is to avoid this, now that I'm thinking about it. Yes, I probably should have put gloves on. Oh, look at that. That's got that real candy pink. Um, yeah, so that would have totally stopped that uh, problem there. So that's got the gilt over the top. And then I've got the building stencil, so that's quite a um, one for more of a masculine card. And the one that I stamped with it is looking like that. So you can see that they're glossy, and I think that that's what's really unique about this because it's an acrylic paint, not a not an ink spray like the Lindy's are, not like the pigment spray like the Lindy's are, or the Dilutions, which are super deep. Uh, sprays as well so I think that you this is this is where the product is different um, so how do I turn this into a card 
Next question. So I went through and had a bit of a look um, and stamped up some images from from uh, my personal stamp sets that I've got floating around because, you know, we've all got a shit ton of stamps. Um, and I have got some Dina Wakeley stamped images and I've just pre-stamped these ones here. So I might put those there with some tissue paper. Too much of the same colour. No, don't love that. Don't love that. What do I love? I will take... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know what I might do? I'm going to take this guy here. How am I going for time? Is everyone just happy just watching me chat to myself here and do this? Has anyone got, you know, somewhere to be? I could do this all day. This does not bother me at all in the slightest. All right. So I'm going to pop those on there. So these are the Dina Wakeley stamps. There's actually still some available in, uh, in the store at the moment. I did spot those in there earlier. Um, I am using my puzzle glue to stick this down. Um, I've been using this glue for ages and um, I bring it in from Poland and clearly it does not want to work today because I haven't been crafting and it locked on me. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to Pop some strips on. Oh, now the bloody glue's going everywhere. <laughs> Morning, Judy. Um, yeah, look, I can waffle on all day, unfortunately, for you guys. Um, just give me half the chance. Okay. Pop that there, pop that there. Pop that there get rid of that dog of glue that doesn't need to be there so i am a huge fan of my tiny attacher stapler fantastic for quick simple and easy embellishments um, i've got these online at the moment I think they're only 30 bucks um, i do recommend purchasing some staples at the same time as purchasing one of these guys and the staples currently are a massive $7 for a pack of refills. Um, so again, quite inexpensive, but definitely worth investing in one of these guys. All right, so I'm gonna pop that one there. I'm gonna pop that one there. And this one, I'm gonna foam tape. I'm gonna use it, where's my foam mount? All right, can't find my foam tape, but I have got my silicon tape. So for those of you who haven't seen the silicon tape, it is a clear tape that has dimension. This stuff is the freaking bomb. It is ridiculously sticky because it is silicon and it sticks to absolutely everything. Um, I have it online. It's very inexpensive. You do not need very much. You can see here what it is. Um, and I'm just going to pop that there, pop half down there. So for those of you who like to do um, dimensional projects that quite often you can see in underneath things, then the dimensional, the... Um, Silicon tape is perfect for you. All right, so this will, I will finish this off in a moment with a black border and a black sentiment here. So quick, simple, I'm gonna pop that one aside. What else? My glue is going everywhere. Um, all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got the professor. Now, I was hoping to have in by today, I have done a really big order with Stampers Anonymous, um, and Stampers Anonymous are the company that create the stamps for Tim Holtz. So 
I was really, really hoping to have that in today, but that the US postal system at the moment and I are not friends. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this stamp and I have ordered this one in just by itself, but you can buy it online in a set. Um, I think he's gonna go great on this card. Yep, definitely. All right, how do I put him on that card? I need to use some collage paper as well. And I'm going to layer that up. So I'm just gonna pop some glue on the back of it. And I'm absolutely winging it here, guys. I honestly do not have a plan at all other than pre-stamping a few images. So um, now I'm gonna take the tissue paper and lay that over the top. And I'm just gonna do that with glue because it's what I've got in front of me, but I would normally have got reached, I would have normally reached for the gel medium because it's going to dry better. All right. So although that looks a little bit messy, if I turn it over, cut off any excess. Gosh, it's getting warm in here. I think I'm gonna turn the fan on. Gosh. Right, hang on. Okay, so I'm on the right track there. And now I think I will take, I'm gonna take another strip of tissue paper. Oh yeah, there we go, and layer it over the top. So I've left room here for my sentiment. Um, another little tip, if you're working with a stamped image like this, I know, I mean, he's, his body language, he's facing this way, so he needs to be on this side of the card. He doesn't want to be facing out of the card because then it becomes a, a negative body language situation. All right. So again, crack that stapler out. And uh, to finish this card off, like I said, I will put a sentiment up here, do a black border, and I'm actually gonna get some string and wrap around that bit as well. So before I photograph it and put the final images up online, which I always do after one of my live Facebooks, I will, um, I will do that. So then you can see how it looks finished off. So not over the top, not complicated, just simple. But this tissue paper now has become a really awesome little element of what I can do. So I've got a little, um, little Tim Holtz butterfly stamp here that I did earlier. I'm going to pop that on there with, that's the other tissue paper I created. That's a bit too much same, same. So therefore, therefore, I have got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. All right, I could sit there and be a total professional here and say that I know exactly what I'm doing, but come on, let's be honest. All right. Yeah, okay. There we go, and I'm just going to scrunch it up a bit. Um, so... While I'm doing this and waffling on quite nicely here, um, this weekend online, I have got 15% off stamps and stencils. Um, there's only one exclusion to that, and that is the, the stamps and stencils um, that I created this year under my own name. Um, they are all ready at the lowest possible price. Um, so 15% off stamps and stencils, and there's plenty in stock. 15% uh, off paper collections. 15% uh, off of Lindy's Gang products as well. So magicals and sprays, uh, embossing powders as well, 15% off. The um, Each day I'll be doing two live Facebooks a day. So there will be another one this afternoon using these sprays in which I will do an art journal page. Uh, the, okay. The, uh, what else have I got? And then tomorrow morning, um, there's possibly not going to be a 
live Facebook tomorrow morning as uh, we are going out tonight and there's probably going to be wine involved and uh, it's probably in everybody's best interest that I don't create anything with a hangover because I'm human. Um, sorry, I'm just using that silicon tape again. The um, So it'll be possibly a little bit later in the day, but I will be announcing that online and we'll let you all know when I'm doing that. Um, oh, I've just had an idea. I want to wrap some string around that. So I'm not going to stick that on just yet. I'll do that off camera shortly before I... I'll just stick that there. Oh, great idea. Um, so yes, I will be doing another live Facebook, but I'm also, uh, I've also decided since we're not going anywhere tomorrow night, not doing anything um, at all tomorrow night, I will jump online tomorrow night and do a little like mini class or something like that. So, so then that way we can create, I don't know if I'll do a scrapbook page or a, um, I don't know what I'll do yet, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. So create something fun and easy and you can watch me waffle on and flounder my way through making something, I don't know yet. So yes, that's the plan for tomorrow. So there'll be a couple of live Facebooks tomorrow, but very possibly not at this time. Um, the other thing that I have available on my website, there is a big pre-loved section. And I, if you jump back online and have a look on through my Facebook at some of, like the post that I did last night with Jessica, I did show a bit of an idea on, on some of the things in my pre-loved section. So um, I'm talking stamps and foam stamps that are in excellent condition. Um, access to requirement of a personal stash at the moment at extremely inexpensive prices. And I'm talking Tim Holt stamps, making memory stamps. Uh, there are a few Kayser Craft ones there. There is a heap of Prima stamps available. Um, the beautiful hand-drawn girls that were super popular not all that long ago. There are heaps and heaps of those in there. Excellent for art journaling and card fronts. There are some flourishes. So there's a whole heap in there. And I think the most expensive item in the pre-love section is $14. So, uh, and that is, that the excellent price, excellent prices. Um, my clearance section online, you will also find a huge range of products that are just one or two left of an item. So that's the only reason they're in clearance for that, for that purpose. Um, they, there's nothing wrong with them. Some, there's a lot of hard to find items as well. So uh, things that, you know, Kayser Craft collections where, you know, they've been discontinued, things like that. So there's plenty of um, things available. Um, all right, so I'm just, I'm gonna finish up now. Um, I've been on here for an hour, uh, but I'm just gonna recap what we have done here. So we used the Lindy's, sorry, the Dina Wakely gloss sprays, which is today's special of the day. And I created a whole heap of card fronts, quick and easy using stencils and just the sprays. And I love the way that they have finished up. Um, I've got some pre-stamped images that I have just stuck on and I'm gonna finish those off with some sentiments, some doodling around the edges, trim them down, mount them on some white card to make that stand out nicely. We coloured some tissue paper. Uh, there's the other one that I forgot that I did with the faces on it as well. So they are a really cool way of um, colouring tissue paper and collage paper. We... I did this little one here, so I'm going to wrap some string around that and pop a sentiment up here, a great masculine card. Um, these cards, these sorts of beautiful bright cards are fantastic for teenagers. Kids love this stuff. And it looks like you've made it yourself, but they're not super messy and, and gross. So um, really, really fun and easy cards to do. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. For those of you who have already ordered over the last day or so, if you decide that you would like to order again, all you need to do is 
go online and place your order and then you can select at the checkout no judgment <laughs> and what that means is I will add your order to one of the previous orders so you don't have to pay postage twice um, the Postage, Australian postage is $12.50. I will be posting on Monday. So once you have finished creating or finished watching all my YouTube, all my YouTubes, all my Facebooks over the next couple of days and seen all my daily specials, because there will be a new special tomorrow, um, you can then decide to add to your cart, shop again. So if you haven't placed an order yet, no worries. Just pay for postage once and then I will... Uh, add to the rest of your orders, um, put them all together. So make it easy for you guys. Um, so have a fantastic day, guys. I will be back here at uh, 1.30 Adelaide time, 2 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and I'm going to do a little art journal page using the sprays. And uh, I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do yet, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. Um, but yeah, have a great day and give me 15, 20 minutes and I will put these cards up online with some photos of how they looked and they finished up. So, um, wonderful. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids and I look forward to chatting to you soon.